A storm is brewing in the Roots Party with the party presidential candidate Professor George Wajakoya and his running mate Justina Wamai not seeing eye to eye. Wamai is yet to confirm whether she will honor summons to appear before the party disciplinary hearings of accusations of disregarding the party's constitution and misrepresenting the party. However, Wamai has denied the accusations and accused Professor Wajakoya of trying to stifle her voice within the party. I invite the president-elect to come forward and receive his certificate. Two weeks after the 9th August presidential election, the Roots Party is facing political turbulence, even as it emerges that its presidential candidate, Professor George Wajakoya, and his running mate, Justina Wamae, are not seeing eye to eye. Trouble started the moment Wajakoya was branded a government project during the political campaigns. Or rather even I called him, I wrote to him and then I called him. I told him because it has been three times we have been branded a project, then I feel I should give my voice because I represent a constituency of women and youth. And that is why we had a disagreement and he blocked me. And then because it, it is not the way he overreacts. So I blocked him because I did not want his wrath to follow me again. Monday this week, the party summoned Wamae to appear before a disciplinary hearing this Friday over accusations of misrepresenting the party, disregarding its constitution, associating and promoting the ideologies of their opponents, accusations that Justina has denied. And then I have not done anything wrong. In fact, I congratulated the president-elect four days after the, he was announced. He congratulated him the same day before even, you know, he the same day while well, at Bomas. He congratulated him. So I, I was following what my leader did. I do not see any wrongdoing about going to court. Our agent, our chief agent signed off Form 34C. And in Bomas, all over, all over, all, everyone in Kenya saw us sitting together. So that time, I felt that my conduct, Roots Party had accepted the results. So there's nothing against the party constitution. So for me, you can say I fought for the party. But for him, when he started supporting through media on the campaign trail, our competitor, that is where now he lost the vision of the party. So has the disciplinary committee also summoned him in that regard? In the summons, the party has threatened to institute legal action against Justina if she doesn't stop what they have termed as misrepresentation and irresponsible utterances. But Justina has denied claims of being ungrateful on claims that the party provided her a car and accommodation. So I want him to be truthful to Kenyans and tell us which car he gave me. What does it mean by accommodation? I still live where I was living even before all this. NTV through a phone call tried to get Wajakoya's side on the matter, but Wajakoya, who was extremely angry, declined to comment and instead angrily disconnected the call.